Hello there. You're very welcome to tonight's uh, SSE Airtricity League clash between Bray Wanderers and Waterford FC. Bray lining up a lot of players in the six-yard box by Roman. Warren Humbana goes in right to the far post. In the net! I don't know if Warren Humbana get a touch. It could have gone straight in. And Warren Humbana is going to claim it. I think oh. that might have gone straight in, Vincent. Oh, what I a start for Bray. I thought he got up above it and headed it down. So let's hope that's the case. So... Two minutes and 19 seconds, and Bray have taken the lead against second place Waterford United. What a great start for Bray. Start. Ryan couldn't ask for anything better. That's an amazing start, Vincent. Cross field ball from Power. Good touch from Lions. We'll find Murphy, although Savoale is alive to it. That's really good play from Tomisi Savoale. Not only to intercept, but to win a free, win a free kick. Completely takes the pressure off his back. Four. Taken and quickly again. Although. Max Murphy here? has kicked the ball away. Come on, getting red, is there? And he's going to. Max Murphy, you want a yellow card from that first half? And Max Murphy has got a second yellow card. Bray Wanderers are down to 10 men. So that shape is going to have to be really resolute now. And uh, Almiral, Guillermo Almiral, in an unfamiliar position for him of left back. Coughlin gets in behind Massey. Coughlin against McGuinness. Coughlin equalizes. It's his eighth goal in three games. The former Seagull comes back to haunt his former club. It's 1-1 here at the Carlisle. 55 minutes into the game. And Amaral probably lucky to get away with not giving away a foul there. He's another boy at Sabo Alley. The Walford. Darryl wide in the left here. Changing the point of attack the whole time. Camberwick at the cross in. Left footed. He's fell by Hudson. Header! Ronan Cockett is 2 1. It's that man again. We identified him before the game. 14 goal of the season for Ronan Cockland. His game's been turned to 10. Ryan Burke left foot across. Waterford lead 2 1, Vincent. They go short as far as Dave Massey. Ball needs to get in towards that box. Towards well, the more Humban. Eddie oh, Nolan, the substitute. There. Clears it for and Waterford. The final That's the final whistle. And uh, Walford get their sixth win in a row. They've beaten Bray Wanderers in a scoreline of two goals to one. And I have to say, they deserved it on the base of the second half performance, Vincent. That red card to Max Murphy definitely changed the game. 